Hi, I'm Luke Ayres, and this is a love note to the DSLR, my all-time favorite camera, and never to be replaced. I heard some news recently that uh, my camera brand uh, that I use, Nikon, have decided to stop making DSLRs. And from this point forward, they will only create mirrorless cameras. For those of you who don't know, a DSLR and a mirrorless camera, there's no difference in terms of image quality. The difference is that a DSLR allows you to see through a mirror system in the camera uh, real life through your lens. Whereas with the, these more modern mirrorless cameras, uh, you're, when you look through the viewfinder, you're just seeing a little TV screen basically. And the TV screen is just relaying what the camera is seeing. DSLRs use a periscope system, like in a submarine, so that your eye can look down in real time, in real life, and see through the lens. And then when the photo is taken, the little mirror flips up and then the camera records it. It might seem like a small difference because basically, in terms of Im image quality, there is no difference between DSLRs and mirrorless cameras, all right? The difference is in the experience. And here's my little listing of why I think DSLRs are the best and they can never be replaced and I will never use a mirrorless damn camera. You know why? Because it might seem small, but when I'm photographing something, I wanna see real life. I don't wanna see a digital relay of what the camera says real life looks like. All right, now, I understand that mirrorless cameras, they have all this beautiful computing power that makes the, the uh, electronic lag from the light coming in the camera, relaying to what I'm seeing, it's a very short lag, right? With the earlier models, it was quite laggy. And that was one thing that initially really peeved me off because like, you know, you'd see the moment, but then, and, and you'd go to take the photo, but the, but the computer system hadn't quite caught up to that second. And that was a deal breaker for me because I'm just like, I need as a photographer to capture that moment. Not the split second later, that one. When I press the button, I want that moment, not the microsecond, four millimeter seconds later when the camera finally decides to do it. That really annoyed me, all right? Now granted, these days it's a lot better, but still, it's kind of like, I don't like it. I don't like seeing a virtual world when I'm trying to take photos. Another thing that, that it's just like, <laughs> mirrorless cameras still haven't gotten this good yet, but battery life, battery life, right? The, the best mirrorless cameras can take maybe 500 shots on a, on a single battery, right? Whereas take a DSLR, right? One where the, uh, it's not using all of its uh, power to, to make sure that the sensor is constantly on and relaying every moment, which just sucks that battery energy dry so much faster. And, you, and I'm getting like 2,000 shots on a DSLR during a shoot. In fact, I did a, a photo shoot recently. I did 1,700 shots and I checked the battery life, right? And this is not on anything special. This is on a standard little DSLR battery and it was at 70%. I'm like, what, what? You can't match that on a, on a mirrorless unless you have this big battery pack. Anyway, it's just kind of like, of course it's all personal preference. I know, I, know, I know many people who enjoy mirrorless and that's great, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm gonna throw another argument at you. Um, in the, uh, the World Photojournalism Awards that were a few months back or whatever, it was an interesting thing where they asked the, the top 10 winners what camera did you use to take that shot? And something like seven or eight out of 10 of them, we're still using DSLRs. That proves nothing, but it says something. And I agree with it. Cause like when I'm on the job and I'm like, it's like, it's all about the right moments and capturing those moments. It's like, I want my camera to be reliable. I don't want this relay point between the photo then being processed through the camera and then I see it, right? Any, any lag is not good enough, all right? So I prefer, I wanna see that real life. And when I press that button, I want that moment. 
captured. You know? And yeah, DSLRs are big, heavy, chunky things. And I wanna show you something. I recently upgraded. I upgrade my camera like maybe once every year or two. And uh, I usually go for an older model, actually. I upgraded my um, Nikon, what was it? D600. It's a 2012 model, super modern. And I upgraded it to the best camera in the world, the Nikon D4. Now, the Nikon D4 actually came out about six months earlier than <laughs> than the previous model that I had, which makes it about 20 and a half years old today, right? This is the Nikon D4. In 2012, this was the best camera in the world that Nikon, that the Nikon brand made, all right? Look at it. It is big, it is heavy, it is chunky, and it is awesome, right? And what I care about as a professional is this thing will not give up. Right? If someone tries to mug me, I can hit them with the damn thing. It is so strong and it will go through. It will just go, keep on going. Right? And when, when I'm shooting, I want speed, I want reliability. I don't want any computer firmware update to suddenly say, no, you need to upgrade to the latest version of Microsoft. Sorry, your Apple update's out of date and need to just get like that thing refreshed. No, forget that. I want photography please right so i'm willing like i and in fact i love the form factor it is big i have i have these hands that are just like massive and i want to be able to control this thing i don't want like a little sony box that goes pick, 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 pick. these are just my personal little gripes about the thing but do you get what i'm saying dslrs are awesome all right maybe mirrorless will take over everything looks like it's going to do that I'm gonna stick with DSLR, friends, because it gets me amazing photos. Please subscribe and enable the bell so you don't miss any of our new shows. Like the video and please share it and leave your comments. I love hearing from you. And remember to get out and capture your own images of life.